Hello everyone, my name is Zen Mangalala Four from zentemple.net and 200ok.ch. Yesterday I released a guide on handling files that include long lines in Emacs. The reason is that users of Emacs sometimes run into a performance issue, which they didn't know about before, but is actually quite well known. Uh, well, when you open files which include long lines. If the lines are long enough, which can just be a couple of thousand characters, Emacs can crawl to a halt and it will use up to 100% of the CPU. In the guide, I'm showing uh, what your feature flags are for configuring Emacs in a way that it is able to handle that. Uh, while the post was generally well received, someone on Reddit said that I didn't even show how to profile the issue, which is uh, technically correct. Uh, so I'm showing a very small uh, demo here on how to use the Emacs profiler. This is not a comprehensive guide on how to use the Emacs profiler. There's uh, lots of uh, material out there. For If you're more interested, uh, the first place to go is always the new Emacs manual, which also has a chapter on profiling. So I'm just going to do a very short demo on how to use the Emacs profiler. And I'll show you with exactly uh, the troublesome file that someone sent me that triggered the initial uh, blog post. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the Emacs profiler. I'm going to open a closure code file, which actually only has two lines of code in them, but uh, we will be able to see that my machine actually hangs for a while, or at least Emacs hangs for a while. And that is not due to the fact that my machine is weak, uh, I'm currently pretty much idling here. I have uh, 12 threads, I have six real cores, I have 32 gigabytes of memory. It's a pretty beefy machine. It's a maxed out Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme Second Edition. So let's do that. The first thing, if something is uh, slow in Emacs or maybe not slow, maybe you just want to check how fast something is, is to start a profiler. Then you do the thing that uh, you want to measure and then you stop the profiler and then you look at the report. It's uh, very easy to get started. So the first thing is I will start a profiler with MX profiler start. Okay, and we can already see that my machine is hanging. It's not opening the file. Now it did, but it didn't open the file very fast. So if I stop the profiler now with MX profiler stop and then want to look at what was the issue, I will say MX profiler report. And I can see that the redisplaying was uh, at fault is the wrong uh, uh, thing to say, but uh, the redisplaying is the issue here. It's a uh, built-in in C, so we will not see any elisp commands. It's not a specific major mode that was the problem. It's not a specific um, minor mode that I had loaded. It's actually core Emacs that had an issue here. So what I uh, mentioned in the blog post is that a very easy remedy is, if you don't want to go into detail, is just to enable these two settings in the blog post. They are uh, well explained in depth. One thing is I disable uh, bidirectional editing. Emacs has the capability to display left to right languages and right to left languages at the same time in the same buffer. I actually never need that because I only work in left to right uh, languages. So I'll enable that. And the second thing is that Emacs has the capability to actually check beforehand, before opening a file, if it might trigger a performance problem and then enable a different major mode, which is pretty much opening the file verbatim only without any uh, fancy features in place. So I'll add this to my config. I'll open a new Emacs. Again, if you're interested to see to know uh, what the specific remedies are, 
there's a blog post on 200ok.ch that says comprehensive guide on handling long lines in Emacs. So now I have a new instance of Emacs running that has this new um, configuration. Again, I'll start a profiler. Again, I'll open the file and we can see it was instant. Huh? On the counter, on the flip side, I didn't open it in closure mode. It said it changed the mode from so, uh, closure mode to so long mount, mount, mode on account of line length. Uh, I can hit CC to revert, but we already know this will trigger an issue. If I now hit profile stop and profiler report, we can see that the redisplaying didn't take a lot of time at all. It only took uh, some time for the commands to execute, but if we saw before, there were a lot more CPU cycles uh, used, if I remember correctly. It was like uh, three or four times uh, in the order of magnitude more CPU cycles used. So this was pretty fast for opening the file. Okay, so this uh, concludes a very basic introduction of how to use the Emacs profiler. If you want to learn more, please go to the GNU Emacs manual on the chapter on profiling. Thank you very much and have a great time.